woodlands and the rivers are calling out to me. It's the country that I live for, the place I long to be. Come with us, we'll take you on adventures by the score. We're the sportsmen of Newfoundland and Labrador. Hi folks, welcome to another show. After hearing hundreds of exciting stories about the great Atlantic salmon fishing, right here on the Eagle River in the Southern Labrador, we're finally here. We've been chomping at the bit for the last six months in anticipation, and now it's early in the morning, we're having our first flick. We're going to be spending the week here with Millie and Yellow Tepster of Goose Bay Outfitters, and because there's such little effort involved in getting to the various pools, we can save all of our energy for fighting fish. One of the things I don't mind is getting some deep heat rubbed on my arms tonight for, I'm playing out Atlantic salmon. No, sir, because we've been looking forward to this more than any trip I think we've been on. No doubt about it. So, folks, sit back, relax, and enjoy a good Atlantic salmon fishing show right here on the Eagle River in southern Labrador. We're going to go where the big salmon are. I got... Uh, Nelson to tie me up boat. Oh yeah. Let's see what that you know, it's a bit similar to the one I had, only the crystal flash on the tail, so Let's see how it goes. Up and now this one hasn't come up yet. That's a big fish. And buddy. that's normally a sign of a half piece of fish. Yeah. Just 15 minutes ago, Dwight hooked one about 12 pounds. I and lost. But he still had oh, oh it's not bad. Lost. Lost. That's a grill. That's a grill. That's, that's a big, big grill. Probably a keeper, why we've had some fun, well, especially this morning. Dwight Oats. caught five. He yeah. landed five fish this morning. Yeah. 
and he, of course, he released four. And Gordy hooked the last one. <laughs> but now, if that's... Uh, We've got a mozzy old day here, like some people say. <laughs> and I don't know if that's uh, really good for this type of fish hunting. Where there's that many fish in this river, it doesn't matter what the weather is, you're going to catch them anyway. I mean, we've had rise after rise, strike after strike. Absolutely incredible. You get the gore, you're screwing up my fishing. You screwed up mine, Papa. <laughs> Morning. How many times have to reel in and sit down? Hey, Sam. What did I tell you this morning when we uh, we said there was two miserable weather-wise for filming and Dwight was catching all the fish and Sam said, well, what's going on with you? I said, I'm waiting for the camera. Johnny comes by with the camera and I hooked into a fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, you have to get it in. Ready? <laughs> they told me about this for the grill, so I can't believe it. Now you got it. Oh, boy. Oh, what a good oh, fish. Look how fat. Congratulations. You did a good job. Oh, geez. That, folks, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. We've got a magazine to produce, so we're going to, only for his face, it might be a nice shot, but we're going to get a picture of him now holding the salmon with the falls in the background. And you never know. I mean, we got to take pity on him. He might have a cover shot. So you got the pretty face and the dandy salmon. You got a knock. <laughs> Salmon's nice, I don't know about the face. Okay, Gord, think you can smile? Don't say those things you usually do to make me smile. <laughs> uh -huh. A tag, and we're all legal. Of course, up here in the Eagle River, you're allowed to retain one large salmon. Yeah. So we're waiting for that something, hopefully in the 10, 12, 14 pound range. You can get them here even larger. I've got a half decent one on here. It could be a salmon, not sure. I made one cast down and this fish came for it twice. Didn't touch the hook. So I cast back out with a long line in the same area and it nailed it. Now we've got a we've got a double on. Person in the boat with our camera band, he's playing out a fish as well. Oh, there we go. No, it's a grills. Nice one, it's though. The grills. Beauty about this place that we're at now is that every single solitary fish that you catch are fresh. We're only about a mile upstream from Sandwich Bay here on the south coast of Labrador. And let me tell you, what a run of fish. We're fishing in a pool. Oh, nice one jumped there. We're fishing in a pool called the Slick. And the reason it's called that is, I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not, but it's nice and smooth. This is where they do a lot of dry fly fishing. But where I had such luck last night with this one picker fly I've got on, it's a, it looks like a caterpillar. It's got a dark green body with a green butt and brown hackle all up through. It was very effective for me last night. I caught a nice 14 pound salmon. Not borrowed? No, <laughs> I'm using a, an ADG titanium nine weight rod here. And it's after taking a pound in the last couple days. Oh, brag, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's rod is after taking a pound in huh? the <laughs> Last night with the 14 pounder I caught, of course it wasn't on the camera again. Never fails, the cameraman was off somewhere else. What a beauty fish. That's the way to release it. See, not look, even look out that. of the water. Now look, Good job. two fish on any time. The first day we got here, there was about seven or eight boats in this area that we're fishing at. Anytime you look at a boat, somebody was playing a salmon. Oh, yeah. What an incredible place to be here in Southern Labrador. The hook to hook onto the boy, is it? You got it in? Yeah. What? Tricky situation here this morning, eh, boy? What's that? Tricky, bit tricky here this morning. You got that right. See all that weight rider down below? Yeah. There's a lot of water running down through here, I guarantee you. 
up behind you. Look behind you. Fishing out one of the most famous pools on the Lower Eagle called Pretz Pool. And as you can see, we're still just a few feet from the lodge. What an incredible spot this is, look. Give you the village here. First one I hooked him, he must have jumped four, four to five feet in, out of the water. Did you see the first jump? It seemed, yeah, it seemed like every fish here jumps three to four feet out of the water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you went to dream salmon fishing trip, this is up it. here with this is it. Goose Bay Outfitters. Yeah. This is incredible, this is. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 Glasses. I mean, what happened just then? The line broke off, and of course, with all the tension on it, it broke off. And it came back. So you can imagine you're off a salmon through a fly. What damage that could do to you? Right in the eye. So always wear glasses, even when it's not sunny. Bow time. Hallelujah. I think it's a big grill, you know. Oh, there we go. Whoa, ouchie. Ah. Oh. Got the fingers burnt right off me. Oh. Ah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I tell you, that's sharp stuff in your fingers. I... Oh, look, going. holy giants. Come back, come back to daddy. I'm using a long leader, which is a bit of a drawback here because I've got to move back here in order to get the leader and the salmon close to sand. Look, you can see this so plain here. Oh, so close. Okay, buddy. There we go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Nice, nice grills. He's a big, big mama. Look. Oh. Well, show them to me for a second. Look, what a, what a beauty, what? That's a spot Small salmon. salmon. Yeah. Mm. That's a nice fish. There we Let's go. Grab those hooks, folks. Hey. What a beautiful fish, man. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Salmon. salmon. Okay. Salmon, salmon, I'll cut off salmon. top of your hat, bud. Earlier I had two or three rises out far, well almost as far as I could throw a line. And then Sam said, take your line back in, work your way out, like after it didn't come for it a half dozen times. But in the meantime, we saw one jump a little bit closer to the boat. So I said, half joking, I'll get that one first and then I'll work on the next one. <laughs> and came up and took it. With a little, I think they call it the, the green machine, but a very thin skin body. Something like myself. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's bending the pole, though. Oh, there oh, we go. It's a little... The grills. The grills. Anything less than 63 centimeters are called grills. Anything over that, we call a salmon. Oh, boy. Whoa. Gee, don't they jump, huh? Yeah. Absolutely incredible how high they get out of the water. Yesterday I had the, the real horseshoe, eh boy? You get that right. I got three fish when I wasn't even fishing. The weight had a fish on, so I just laid my line overside the boat. <laughs> fish came up and took it, and then I changed leader, put on the new fly, and just tossed the fly over. And as I went to reach Ooh. for the pole, it took off, I had to grab the pole. And there was another fish on. But I, like I said before, I'll take all those flukes. He's going for another little run. Are you still going to tag? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Two. So you have to break the leader a few times and like I'm playing this fish <laughs> oh, differently than I would. Like I'm more nervous now that it's going to break. And I'm a little oh, more I've delicate than I should be. Full confidence in that leader. Oh, 
shun. Oh, she. Wow, didn't that move fast? Yeah. Oh, it just came, fly came loose. I didn't break I thought the leader broke. I rose him twice, and the third time, came back. Them. What have we got on it? You're having good luck this trip, I gotta say. Yeah. Whoa, nice. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Whoa. You're going a bit too far for me, buddy. Look, come back here. There he goes. Oh, not as big as your last one. No. <laughs> Death grip coming up. Almost. Now the death grip is coming. Could be wrong, but I don't there think one's come in. Whoa, that's a nice fish. Big chunky? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a nice fish, bud. That's a beaut. That's worth putting your Look last tag on. Not <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Again, again, again. I think it was three casts on the short line, not much more than a liter. And it, it came up actually twice in the same pass. Look back and forth, back and forth. I don't want him to go down there over the lip either. I gotta keep him in this pool. I believe it's a small salmon. Not sure. I just got a glimpse of him. Under under the water. Guess which side I want to fish on now. If I can get his head up enough now. Oh, Woohoo! <laughs> That's the boy, Sammy. Hey, nice, nice fish. Look, never had the power, I know. Thank you, my boy. Good show, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, folks, what can I say? When you're good, you're good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can't be out on my gourd. Not this afternoon. A couple minutes after he hooked his fish, I made a few casts. And I've got one too, my buddy. <laughs> Atta boy. I don't know, swimming right into the boat, and I know. Right. I knew that if you sat down for a while and just watched me, yeah, yeah, I got lots. Of, pick it up, right? I got lots of pointers off of you. Then. Oh, you. Must be standing on the seat. Jesus! Whoa! Look, I know. I know. I'm not trying to shake that hook. Come here. Gee, wicked. Oh, boat just up ahead of us. We got a salmon on as well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, another one jumped over there. There you go. Death grip. <laughs> ah, way to go. Way to go. So easy that came out. <laughs> 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 what did you do to me? Caught in the fish flash. Uh, uh, getting very close up in the fish. Uh, and the fish flash uh, jump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm close and personal. <laughs> <laughs> he says he says nothing. Just turns away from camera. <laughs> oh, oh there you go. Good going. Again, boy. Uh -huh. People are gonna think we're funny. All we're doing is holding hands. <laughs> Oh, who sent us in those? That's uh, Wally Halloran from Grand Bank, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, he told me it was a good fly, so now I'm gonna He sent us in see. a lot of flies, God love them. Yeah, gee, we won't see how many. No, because everybody else will be after them. Good fella. 
that's a nice fish, Johnny. That might be a salmon. Oh, she looked she look pretty good to me, buddy. She's not over the limit. She's pretty close to it. Yes, sir. I think he wants coming this side. He's still uh, he's, he's ready now. He's ready now. Try to bring him over on the other side. Good show, buddy. Good <laughs> great, show. Great trip. Looks good on you. Great trip. Great fishing. Don't get any better, hey, buddy. Good fly. And a good fly. <laughs> Yesterday we were fishing, like Dwight spent the whole day there and fishing this side, and I fished the other side. This morning he said, now when we go out, he said, we'll switch now every half hour. And I was just about to say, let's switch sides. <laughs> I'm glad I was a little slow this morning. Jeez, it ever bright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. That's worth keeping, eh, boy? Yes, sir. I wouldn't complain about that one. That's a couple of two fish that I kept there were, both of them were, what, 63, right on the nose, 62 to 63. A little bit below 63. The rules are you can't keep a, a salmon that's 63 centimeters or greater. It's got to be below 63 centimeters. A lot of people figure that if you got a 63 centimeter salmon, you can keep it, but that's not the case. You got to be a little bit smaller. Gordy, you got the touch, boy. I got to say, you've done exceptionally well this trip. Every time you've been out in the boat, you've got a, a lot of strikes or, or, or a fair number of catches. You must be getting used to it, eh? Yeah, I'm. Um, spend enough time in the water, I suppose you got to learn a little bit now. <laughs> Did you practice over the winter? Yeah. I see devil. Oh, just jump behind the boat, see that? I tell you, he's awfully Man, strong. Powerful. Up, death grip. Year later. Broke again, Gordy. steak and baked potato with mushrooms and onions. Pepper.